<laughs> yeah. Myth busted. Anyway, Ken, what's our, our next segment all about? It is, I believe, the 3D printing application of the month. Sure, yeah. Okay, so application. So we wanted to do just a quick segment to talk about, at least in some aspect of how people are using 3D printing. Um, for this month, wanted to focus on a type of prototyping. Prototyping is by far the most well-known reason for doing 3D printing. Um, usually when people think of 3D printed prototypes, though, they think of visual models, form fit models, something that doesn't usually have much more of a purpose other than just to hold and Visual see if the aid. geometry is correct. Yeah, just mm -hmm. basics like that. Um, where we're seeing a lot more focus now and where we're getting more ROI value is in functional prototypes. So as time has progressed and materials have gotten better and machines have gotten better, we've been able to start printing higher strength materials, better chemical resistance, um, electric, I'm forgetting the word. Static, Elect static dissipated. There you go, yes, yeah. Me. <clears throat> and like yeah just better overall characteristics mechanical performance so that you can actually take parts put them into a, a a functioning design test them and either test a plastic component being your final part or a metal po component like that or use this as a predictor for your final component so when i think of like an example of like maybe uh, designing the shape of a turbine testing it out of plastic looking at how it handles flow and then correlating that to how that would also act as a metal final part. Mm -hmm. So what's in your hand, Ken? Is this, an, this is an example of such a thing? So of this a functional prototype? Yeah, so that would be the, the nylon carbon fiber material. And I believe that one is a motorcycle. Oh, it's a kickstand. Yeah, like or a uh, kickstart. Kickstarter. Yep. Like yeah. a dirt bike, maybe? Yeah. Okay, so that's the so, foot pedal that would get. So, so this is. Maybe you want to hold that? <laughs> so this is durable enough that if I was to affix this to, you know, a Kawasaki Ninja and use this as my kickstart, it's not going to, you know, just come snapping off. I could probably get several hundred wears out of it because it, this, that's what you mean by functional prototype. It's yeah. got some meat to it. I don't know if it's something you'd want to leave on there for 10, 15 years, but yeah. to go out and test and, I don't know, a few times out on the track, run it a few times and decide, okay, is this a design I want? Yeah, it can do that now. Right. Where before I'd say, I don't know. Ten years ago, we were mainly printing in stuff that would would break almost instantly if you. So you could take it, it you know. out of the research lab, take it to practical applications, and test it in real world conditions. There a little better. Yeah, cool. that's that's one thing I I'm thinking when you say functional prototypes, aren't all prototypes functional prototypes? If they don't function, what's what's the point? What's I think what we're talking about with this particular type is when we're extracting some kind of data from these prototypes. Okay. Whether it be Physical testing, mechanical performance, electrical, chemical resistance, like testing a system or testing an individual component and trying to decide is that designed the best for the the, the goal. Okay. Prototypes don't have to be functional. They if, don't have to. No. I mean, if it's supposed to look a certain way and you're just going off of just, I want to hold it and I just want to see if this feels right in my hand or if people respond the proper way ergonomics yeah okay so, so that's like, more on the aesthetic side yeah aesthetics aesthetic form or function visual form fit those are all i'm going to say you don't need a strong material for those and so just so that myself and the audience understands all this functional prototypes <laughs> are at the point with 3d printing today where we can print them with strong enough material to actually survive industrial prototyping needs. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Um, this brings us to our, our next segment, I think, which goes really well into functional prototypes um, with our 3D printing.